Good evening and welcome, everybody. What a year it has been. Much like the American-Australian Association, the relationship between the United States and Australia continues to evolve and grow each year. So far in 2017, trade and investment between our two countries has represented a two-way investment value of about $1.5 trillion. This strong and dynamic relationship continues to provide benefits to both countries in terms of the access to capital and people, the sharing of knowledge, and the diffusion of creativity and innovation. This has never been more important. The shared opportunities between our two great countries are enormous. The American Australian Association, under the fabulous leadership of the new and fabulous President John Berry, former American ambassador to Australia, is on the move. We have refocused our strategic vision and mission around four central pillars. Business and innovation, education and intellectual exchange, veterans and the arts. And I urge everybody in this room tonight as friends and supporters of the association to find your particular passion amongst these four pillars and help us to grow and expand. There is much to do and much to be excited about. Case in point. The association boosted the American-Australian alliance by bringing the president and the prime minister get together aboard the Intrepid on May 4th this year in celebration of the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Coral Sea. No matter your politics, the night was a remarkable recognition of the 100-year alliance as well as the courage and character of our veterans. This is what the AAA is all about. So thank you. So thank you for your generous support, and many of you here tonight supported us. This commemorative dinner enabled the association to launch a new veteran scholarship fund, which starting this year, will provide up to 10 undergraduate or postgraduate scholarships to American and Australian veterans. Thank you. The first veteran scholars from Australia have just been announced with their successful American compatriots very soon to follow. Last year, many of you who were here will remember that my family seeded a new journalism award created and named in the honour of my late brother, David Charles Nason, who was a colourful and successful journalist with The Australian, both in Australia and New York. During last year's benefit dinner, Rupert Murdoch and my boss, Jamie Dimon, made additional significant contributions, unexpected contributions from the floor, as did many others in the room. I am truly grateful for their generosity. And tonight, I am delighted to announce that we have selected the first two recipients of the David Charles Nason Journalism Scholarship, both of whom are with us tonight and you will meet later on. So thank you for that. Another very exciting and long overdue initiative has been the establishment of a joint postgraduate Indigenous scholarship between the AAA and the Aurora Education Foundation. While we are extremely proud to launch this initiative, we want to offer a reciprocal scholarship and are actively seeking partners to fund a scholarship for American Indigenous students to study in Australia. More on this to come. At the same time, we are looking to sizably grow our arts fund, which supports aspiring American and Australian artists to pursue their creative dreams. Supported by the New York Australia Day Dinner and other fundraising initiatives, it is our hope that we can double the size of the fund each year for the next three years. Finally, the AAA has a 70-year history of active engagement in the business community. Our relationships are deep, and very long-standing. And the business community across the United States and Australia has generously supported 
our activities for many, many years. In fact, Sir Keith Murdoch and a group of prominent American business leaders established the AAA specifically to foster and expand these business linkages. So an active business and innovation agenda remains a key strategic pillar for the association. And in 2018, we will be reinvigorating our efforts with the help, support and leadership of our key patrons and key government partners. And we are thrilled that our new Consul General, Alastair Walton, will be joining us in this effort. So next year, 2018, marks the 70th anniversary of the Association's founding by Sir Keith Murdoch. And in celebration of, of this milestone, the Association has produced a 70th anniversary commemorative journal, which I am holding, which we are unveiling for the first time. So be sure to pick up your gift bag at the end of the evening, which has a copy uh, for everyone. So we have an exciting 70th year planned for 2018, and we look forward to your continued support and ongoing involvement in the coming year. So it is now my great pleasure to introduce the Australian Ambassador to the United States, the Honourable Joe Hockey. Joe is doing just an amazing job creating opportunities for Australian companies and championing Australia, and his support of the association is deeply, deeply appreciated. Please welcome Ambassador Joe Hockey to the stage to introduce tonight's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient, Andrew Liveris. <laughs> 